Welcome to Iron Horse Garage. <laughs> no, welcome to Outlaw Edge. Uh, I had to throw that in there because I was standing right by the sticker. If you guys haven't checked out Iron Horse Garage, go check them out. And our other channels are Iron Outlaws and NZ Mopar Outlaw Customs. So this morning we are working on the 63 unibody with an 85 Ford tailgate. Man, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I think after today it'll look a lot better. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you what I'm doing right now. So if you're standing next to the truck, you have this beautiful body line that comes down right here. And it comes back, all this seam is getting welded up. I think from here up I already welded. So that's all welded already. And then, uh, you know, this seam, it would be nice to have it run all the way around. And I was actually talking to Martin at Slow Shop and Customs. If you guys haven't checked out his channel on uh, YouTube, excellent channel, excellent person. Love you, Martin. But uh, this morning we were talking about this body line needs to come around. And that's kind of where I was heading with this. So I took this uh, shape checker. And you can see that shape right there. Now, if you come over here, obviously you've got the same shape right there. That's not going to work for in here. But if you take that shape, it's hard to do one-handed. You spin it around. Look how that fits. Which way does it fit best? There you go. I had it upside down. So, maybe you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'll be cutting this tailgate, flipping this 180, dropping it into here, and then this body line will now come all the way around because you'll be on the inside of this one, the inside of this body line, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys. So the body line is going to come around, just keep going all the way around the tailgate like that. It's going to look badass. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to whack that tailgate top piece off, flip it around, and then the other thing is on here, and get it from a side view, the top of this tailgate, it's not rounded, it's like rounded a little bit right here, but that matches exactly right here. But this is supposed to be flat, but this kind of drops at an angle like this. So I'm going to manipulate this thing and massage it a little bit, beat some metal around with some hammers and dollies and whatever, and I'll get this piece cut off, flip it around, and then obviously that will be on the opposite side though. So yeah, that's not gonna work. But this body line will work. So how else can we do that? Um, the other thing I was thinking too is what if we ran a one inch strap all the way across this and then that had something for it to weld to. Sorry about the crap camera work. Uh, then that way that, that's got that one inch uh, line to uh, drop down, you know, that you can weld to. I'll be right back, somebody else is here. That's for you, Joe Jewett. <laughs> Joe hates it when I uh, take the grinder and stop it on the table, so I had to bust his balls a little bit. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now I gotta get these pieces cut out of the way.
Right now, Joe's cringing every time I hit the grinder on the table. <laughs> Come on, you piece of crap. So, I just finished cutting this piece off here. And this was like this on the tailgate. Obviously, it was over here, but I got the vice grips in the way. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it 180. So it's upside down and put it back in there. Carefully, because it's like a razor blade right now. Might want to put some gloves on. This tailgate, when I cut it, it spread out a little bit, so I'm gonna have to push it like this. But I'll make some uh, jigs or something to hold it like that when I go to weld it. <coughs> Let me uh, ditch these gloves and move this tripod. Sorry about the crappy camera work. I'm gonna try to lower you guys down so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Check this out. So now that body line is right here. It lines up perfectly. Now the bed drops down like this, and then the tailgate comes out to the tail lights. And obviously there won't be that gap because it'll just roll over. Come on, tell me that's not badass looking. It's gonna be pimped out. And then as soon as I get that bottom piece done. You know, I'll shape that bottom piece in and then drop the roll pan down. That's money. You know, that's gonna look good. Let me flip this camera around. It worked out awesome because you got the body line right here. Actually, I'm gonna go to the other side because it's more pronounced where you can see it with the primer on it where it's not sanded. You see this body line right here and it comes around and it hits right there on that body line. It's the same exact body line right there. How many times can you say body line? <laughs> This one will be raised up a little bit, but you know, it's stuck in there now. I can't get it out of there, so without cutting my hand. But you guys are getting the picture. I think it's gonna be, gonna be pretty badass. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. It's gonna be off the chain. Next thing I'll do is I'll get the bottom part of that tailgate cut so I can move it in, and I'm gonna start welding this bitch up. So I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm gonna cut it off here. Thanks for watching.